Hey everybody, it's Chuck Burr. I'm an extension educator focusing on crop management in West Central Nebraska. You can probably see behind me the corn starting to tassel and that also brings on the threat of Western Bean Cutworm. And to tell us more about Western Bean Cutworm is our extension specialist, uh, Dr. Julie Peterson. Julie's located in North Platte. So today I'm gonna be scouting for Western Bean Cutworm in this field. Um, I know it's time to start scouting because our degree day accumulations have told us that we're at the 25% of the flight of the moths or later. Um, this field is also here. You can see some of the plants are already tasseling. Um, some of them are quite close to tasseling. I know that this is a preferred growth stage for the moths of the Western bean cutworm. So this is why I'm focusing my attention here. Now, one of the tools that I can use for scouting is the Western bean cutworm speed scout app. This is a free mobile app. You can have it on your smartphone, on your iPad. By using this tool, it really helps to reduce the amount of time you have to spend in the field. And it'll calculate a decision for you um, based on that threshold with you having to look at fewer plants. Now, if I'm not using the Speed Scout app, what I'm gonna do is find five locations throughout the field. And at each one, I'm gonna um, scout 20 plants. So that gives me 100 plants total for the whole field. Now what I'm going to start off with here is the upper leaves of this corn plant. I like to sort of open up these whorl leaves. Sometimes the moth will kind of crawl down in and lay her eggs inside. So I kind of open these up a bit. I make sure that I'm also looking at this collar area of the leaf where it joins the stem. Sometimes the eggs will be there. Mostly they're on the top third of the plant and mostly they're on the upper sides of the leaves but I do give a quick check to the underside just in case we have one hiding there. Now I like to scout all the way down to just below where these young ears are developing. Um, as we get a little later in the season, you might see egg masses that are a bit lower on the plant, um, but typically they're gonna be in the upper third. There you have it, an update on Western bean cutworm.